So another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. side gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright I mean Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC this guy resembles him in a number of ways let's see how he manages this fight against the guy oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch DC well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman Nice punch land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Now connects with the right. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. A little single collar tie there. Knees to the body. Straight right, he misses. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Punch over the top. Nice leg kick land. Nice right punch followed by a left. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful strike. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, that was is this the one that's going to break Well, it? he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Choi's back to the side control now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. His misses are entertaining. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Try to establish that jab. Oh, man, head kick land. Good punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. He throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook. Pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great play. Oh! Misses again with a right punch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. An uppercut there. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Second round underway. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Well, DC, if you're a young striker, I would think watching this guy would give you a lot of tricks of the trade. Just beautiful to watch him work for those hooks. You watch him as a young fighter. You watch the little details to his striking, how he slips off the center line, and he returns with that beautiful hook. Over and over, he is finding that shot. Ooh, big shot land. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his focus. We'll finish his fight. Back and forth we go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Up? Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Right hand on point. Looking to land the right hand. He missed. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to his feet. Now we're going. Oh, man, look at that. Victor, perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, hammer fist here by the Korean Super Bowl. 
Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice punch there. Couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Right punches there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Whiffs on the straight right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Line. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Ooh, what a punch. Powerful leg kick lands. Lands to the body there. Nice combination of kicks there by Choi. Plus right hand is true. 15 seconds to go. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, knee with the head. And they separate. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy. These are bad. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Good punch, Lance. What a body. Oh! Shot. Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Tags him with that uppercut. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Big roundhouse now just misses. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Ooh, what a punch. Execution on the strike 
that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Burgley out has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight.